So in this lesson, uh, we're going to take a look at an old classic blues song called She Caught, she Caught the Katie. Taj Mahal, sort of the, uh, I believe he wrote it, but he's one of the original performers, or one of the earliest performers of the song. Um, and this has a very um, iconic bass line, or, or you know, it's, it's, a very, it's a very riff-oriented bass line. And uh, once you got the riff, it's a matter of moving this riff around to the different chords, because it, it pretty much stays the same. Um, so, let's take a look at it. We're in the key of B flat. And uh, it starts off like this. We're, we're basically going to play uh, the B flat, the, the tonic of the chord, and we're going to go up to the third, the D, and then we're going to walk chromatically up to the fifth. But you've got this rhythm that always goes with it. Like that. So um, as the chords go by, we're going to follow that rhythm all the time, but the chords might change. So for example, in the intro, we go between a B flat and the F7 chord. So it's B flat, F7, back to the B flat. So let me play the intro one more time. It's hard to talk and play. Two, three, four, B flat, F7, B flat, stay here. Okay, now the verse, B flat, F7, B flat again. Repeat that, B flat, F7, B flat. Now here's the, the remainder of the verse. We still stay on the B flat. The, the, the guitar chord changes a little bit from B flat to a B flat seven, but we play the same thing again, the bass players. B flat seven. Then we go to E flat. And then this is the one little tricky thing. We do an E diminished um, chord. So you play, but you, you play it instead of the E flat. You play an E natural, but the other notes stayed the same. You don't change those notes. So let me show you that again. The E flat. E. Like that. Then we go B flat to the F again. start all over again. So that's the basic verse form. You've got B flat to F and then back to B flat twice. Repeat the whole thing, B flat, F to B flat and stay there. Here comes the rest of it. B flat, stay on B flat, then go to E flat and then E diminished, and then back to E flat, to F, back to E fl B flat, stay on B flat. Okay, so that's like the, the basic verse chunk, whatever you want to call it, verse part. But the way the, the song is structured, um, when you repeat the verse again, um, there's a slight change at the end. That's why I have the first ending and a second ending on the chart. So you play through the verse once, you go back, you play through the verse the second time, but when you get back to the last two bars, uh, the first ending would be just a B flat, you're going to still be in B flat, but we've got this, this riff. This offbeat riff. So we start on B flat. And if you're, you're paying attention to the harmony here, we're, it's a B flat seven chord. So we, we start on the tonic B flat. And we're going to the flat seven, which is the A flat, then the sixth, and then the fifth. So 
like that. You're walking down the Mixolydian scale, if you want to think of it that way. So this is all part of normal blues stuff. Um, okay, so the second ending of the verse section has that riff. Dun, 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 and then we go to E flat. Okay, this is, I call this the bridge. So we go to E flat. E flat, back to B flat. And then here we go to an A flat. So I'm going to play the same riff. And then we're going to go to a low F, and all we do is play the quarter notes for two bars. And everything starts over again. Back in the verse. So, um, that's all, really all you have to know is that second ending. So you, you can play that. To the A flat. Now I'm starting to improvise a little bit, but um, the original recording with Taj Mahal, it's very, very cut and dry. Um, but a lot of people play the song and do a lot of things with it. So um, I'm just giving you the basics here, but, and, and to have the harmony so you know what you can play around with. Um, okay, so once you've played the verse, there's a solo, then you come back uh, and do the verse, um, double verse again. Um, then there's this last little figure at the end, the way the ending works. And basically it's just a break. So you, when you get back to the B flat, you just go B flat. A little chromatic felt ending. That usually retards. I kind of wrote it as an eighth note quarter to a half, but really all you have to remember is the downbeat doesn't get anything. So there's there's a guitar riff that plays along here. So the bass goes bam do 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 bam do 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 bam do 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 bam 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 like that. So the 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 downbeat of that last bar, nobody plays anything. You come in after that. So that's the only tricky figure at the end. It's just a sort of a stock ending. Bam do 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 boom bam. And that's the end of the song. So, again, very straight ahead. It's got that really strong, dry rhythm. And you really just use that same riff over and over again for all the different chords following the form. And you've got it there. She caught the Katie.